Hey Pisces, how is it going? Happy May 16th to the 30th. If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic May. Things are just flying. Holy, I still like it. Feels like yesterday was January, and now it's May. It's like, where is the time going? Anyways, I think there is a great reading here for the second half of May definitely a message to be sent out. So I'm not going to keep you guys. Let's just dig in. Let's get started. So we're going to start off your reading with the power of love oracle card. So yours is talking about action. You have the courage to express unique, loving colors of your soul. Whatever situation you're facing, whatever scenario you find yourself into, I feel like the second half of May is kind of calling you to take control, take action. Um, if this is a relationship wise for you, I feel like the ball is in your court. I feel like this person is waiting on you to take the action. I feel like if this is job related, I feel like you're going to have to make that yes or no decision. Like, yes, you're going to take this job or yes, you're not going to take this job. I feel like for whatever reason, both these scenarios, they're in your ball court. So that's what I have for you for the, your Oracle card. Um, so your cards are actually unique. Like I said, um, I'm just going to go through with them and then we'll talk about them. We have the emperor. We have the knight of swords. <coughs> Sorry. So you guys can be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, pentacles, three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have the eight of pentacles as well. With the five of pentacles. So now when I see this many pentacles, I feel like you Pisces are going through some type of manifestation. You're going through some type of, you know, maybe not being so concerned about a relationship, maybe more the work and the money and just figuring out who you are. That's why I get it right off the hop. But we have the eight of cups, so Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So it could be one of you guys. With the ten of cups, we also have the chariots the hermits and we have justice so that's your reading um so like i said i feel like there's going to be some type of message for someone but let's just dig right in i feel like pisces are in this state where you know It's like right now you're looking for that stability, right? You're looking for that security. Um, you're trying to build a solid foundation. That's what I feel like with you guys. Um, it's not that you guys don't want a relationship or you don't want to be committed. I feel like you just want to build your life back up. I feel like maybe there was some type of situation and it brought you down. And I feel like now you're kind of rebuilding, for some of you, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but that's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are rebuilding from something. You're starting to build on a, a solid foundation. You're, you're becoming stability, um, and secure. I feel like you're becoming emotionally secure. You're coming emotionally stable. I feel like there, there could be a father figure in your life. That's really been a big help for you. Um, they have been your backbone. They have been that voice in your ear, just kind of trying to lead you into this new beginning, into this new path. Um, but so if that makes sense to you, then that message was for you. We have the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like no one can stop you. I feel like you're very opinionated. You're very um, going after what you want. This could be a work job or work job or career, um, going back to school. But I feel like that's where it is. I feel like you guys are manifesting that sort of stuff. It's like, like I said, it's not that you don't want a relationship right now for some of you. It's just like you want to build up. So I feel like you guys are really building up. You're really going after your dreams. You're really going after your goals. You're really seeking the stuff that you guys are manifesting. Because we have the three of pentacles. 
this is about learning. This is about, you know, fulfillment right now. You know, what is making you happy? What is, um, what is making you feel stable and, and secure? I feel like that is what you guys are looking at. Um, you're kind of just, I want to say floating by, you know what I mean? When you just float by, it's like you have all these different options and you're just kind of waving them, kind of doing kind of a pros and cons list, kind of seeing, okay, I want this, but I don't know if I want this, but I want this. Um, that's what I feel like. I feel like you guys have a lot of choices right now. So I feel like teamwork is a must for you guys. Um, keep learning though. I feel like you guys are going to benefit from all this learning. <clears throat> There's something to do with school as well with this eight of pentacles. This is the school card. Um, this is also an engagement. Some of you guys can be getting engaged. So it's that, that commitment, right? Um, work. But like I said, I feel like for Pisces for the second half of May, you guys are really diving into the work situation. Could be a home-based business, could be schooling, but you're finishing up on something. Um, this could be getting a degree. I feel like that's where your mind frame is. So we have the five of pentacles and that I feel like for some of you, maybe you're worried about money because you took a loan out for school. Maybe you're, you know, you're trying to move up in the job because it's not enough security, like financially. So I feel like you'll figure it out, though. It's not like you're going to stay stuck. Um, I feel like you're just over worried um, because you care about your family. You care about that love and that balance. And you want you want to make sure that your family's taken care of. You want to make sure yourself is taken care of. And like I said, like you're you're looking forward. You're looking onward. You're not really looking behind you. You're not thinking about the past. It's kind of like, what can I do tomorrow to make myself get more or seek more like what can I do to help myself progress that's where I feel like you guys are like if this is job related I feel like you're like what can I do to move up in this company you know how can I make this home-based business work so I can stay home and take care of my kids how can I um it's like study for school so that you can get this degree so you can graduate so you can get that job that you want that has more money so i feel like things are just kind of just piling up for you guys right now um and i don't overly think it's a bad thing um i just feel like you guys are taking that action to get to your next steps you know that you want that job and that career you know that you want to make more money at work um, you know that you want to make this home-based business work. And so that's where you guys are at. You're just wanting the more, right? I feel like with a 10 of cups, you will get that whole family, happy home, happy life, that harmony, that marriage, that happiness, that alignment. It's all going to come through for you. I feel like with all of these seeds that you guys are planting, the one seed that you guys will eventually plant is that love seed. And I feel like when that love does come through, you guys are definitely going to be ready for it because you've manifested everything else. You've done everything else you needed to do. You got yourself to a position that you were, um, you're just safe. You know that if someone was to leave you, you could take care of yourself. That's what I feel like you guys are doing is, like I said, you're building that solid foundation so that if something was to happen when you got yourself into a relationship, you have something to fall back on, you know, you're not going to be like, oh shit, you know, now I'm screwed. You won't be like that because you'll have that stability. You'll have that security behind you. That's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are going to have victory with the chariot. You know, this is moving forward. This is having that drive, that willpower, that confidence to know that every decision you're making right now is, is the right one. Um, some of you are kind of in that withdrawal mode just self-reflecting it's not on anyone you're not it's not that you don't want to be around other people that's not it at all you're just soul searching right you're you're trying to figure out what your next levels are i feel like there is justice in this i feel like you are being fair you're being balanced um you're just kind of going with the kind of going with the flow right now guys um 
trying to piece everything together and get everything together. So like I said, when I, when that love comes through, you'll just be ready. You know, there won't be any damages. There won't be any hurt there. Like you've let go of the past. You know that you couldn't control it. So I feel like you've learned your lessons, you learned your test, and now you're moving on to this new beginning and you're doing the groundwork, you know, you're building. And I think that's beautiful. I think that's amazing, guys. One of the happier readings that I've done lately. Anyways, so to end this reading off, we have the Oracle card of conclusion. So it says, this is the time of endings and new beginnings. Drawing the symbol indicates that you have come to the end of some experience in your life and are about to enter a new one. Don't resist the conclusion for endings are important experiences and will help you build a stronger foundation for your next adventure. This is also a warning to get all the facts before you draw a conclusion about someone. You can't know the whole story if you haven't read to the end. Remain open even when an ending is final or a conclusion is correct. This is a sign that a new story is about to unfold. So I think that's really beautiful and it's kind of a positive message to end this. You know, we are drawing near, we're building something. So I feel like you guys went through those chapters and now this is like the final chapter, right? This is, this is the end of the story, the end of the road. And I feel like you guys are just building so that when that new love comes in, you guys are going to be a hundred percent ready for it. Um, and you're going to enjoy it. I really feel like you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, let me know how this resonates. Like, subscribe if you haven't. If you are looking for a personal reading, all my information is down below. Um, know that I'm sending you guys all love and light and I will see you in June. Take care, Pisces.